Hi and Assalamualaikum. Let's watch our video. Prepared by Muhammad Fahim, Abdul Hazri, Muhammad Azizul, Nurul Amira, Nur Azuri and Nia Sofia. Prepared for Sir Zuhairi Effendi Muhammad Zaki. Hello! Did you know what is green building? They're building that have quality of life, their design are harmonized within the local climate, preserve energy resources and recycling materials, reduce dangerous substitutes to human, use materials that are environmentally responsible, and to change certain objectives such as protective equipment tasks. We are going to explain about diamond building at Putrajaya, Malaysia. The ST Diamond Building Energy Commission is here building in Southeast Asian design to showcase technologies that reduce the use of common energy and clean water use, as well as promote the use of sustainable building measures to provide enhanced those environmental qualities. Second, Sanjay Naga Diamond Building has demonstrated the economy flexibility of green buildings by cutting the energy consumption down to 1 over 3 and with a settlement of only 3.5 years. The Sanjay Naga Diamond the common health misconception that going green is expensive. Instead, the Sanjay Denagi Diamond Building are showing that it is opposite which the annually million of 
Disney Park has produced not going green in it. Expensive. I will explain about Project Briefing. Project NAM, Headquarters of Energy Commission of Malaysia, Location, Putrajaya, Malaysia, Status, Built and Operating since 2010. Client by Energy Commission of Malaysia, Developer Senandung Budiman Senyam Berhad. Consultants, architect and our architect in associate with Pro Santon Bayalikan, intro design, NR intro design, energy efficiency and sustainability consultant, IEN consultants in number height, GBI facilitator, Energy Malaysia in number height, mechanical and electrical engineer, private tech engineers in number height, civil and structural engineer by promoting as and check up last landscape architect by KRP design senyam berhad quantity surveyor by ARH guru ikut bahan senyam berhad contractor putra perdana construction senyam berhad background information about the seranjaya tenaga are base building cost 4.6 million construction start date from 30 September 2007 and completion date 50 March 2010 achieved 50 days Number of story 1.5 plus 8 story GFA 40,250 m2 Net floor area 11,473 m2 Floor efficiency 75% Green landscape area 3,600 m2 And occupied positions 26 June 2010 this luxury building are inspired by the head office of Energy Commission of Malaysia, the Diamond Building. It is designed to display case technologies that will decrease the building energy consumption and portable water usage, promote sustainable building material usage and at the same time offer an improved indoor environmental quality. The building is a unique model that highest energy efficiency and sustainable building technology for hot human climate. A world approach to build the envelope the design, the mechanical and electrical system, their like access, the escaping and material selection has enabled the design of kids as a mentally responsible corporate. Next, plan elevation perspective drawing. This is ground floor plan, contains landscape signage of the building, the arcade, large landscape around the building, large landscape at second garden. This is a basement one, contains landscape at second garden and main ramp at basement one. Typical floor plan for level 4 contains view of typical workstation, typical waiting area at the atrium, office room with glass partition and typical cubicle around the atrium. This is main meeting room with light through along the windows. The speciality of the Suhanjaya Tenaga are 7 green roof elements incorporated on level 8, building integrated photovoltaic panel, glass dome, rainwater harvesting, roof light through, granaries on the roof, insulated concrete roof, and floor slab cleaning. Next, building morphology. What is building morphology? The quantity of the components in the array number size and also their quantity influenced by design economic factors. Building morphology has direct influence on cost of a project need to be considered during the economy evaluation of the building related to design economics in the aim to deliver the value to the client's project. For example, if a single floor building shape is changed so that the estimated walls area increase, then it is clear that the cost of the wall will increase directly to the increase in The design factors Plane shape, story height, total building height, and size of the building. Firstly, about the plane shape. Shape of the building has a significant impact on its cost. Selected shape for Swanjai Tenaga Diamond Building as the diamond is diamond shape. This unique shape of diamond will affect the cost. This is because the most economic building shape is square. More shapes will form a longer perimeter and increase the cost of building more. Selected plane shape which is square is to maximize the uses of 
plan and to provide adequate space for the building which require a large circulation. Second, story height. Variety of floor height may affect the cost of the building without changing the gross floor area. A greater story height than normal may be necessary to accommodate larger machinery or equipment services that of cables and pipes. Sanjay Tenaga Diamond Building and Sudan provide 2,700 mm story height and affect the elements of vertical components such as ladders, services, and waste pipes. It is clear when elevation rates increase, to construction costs and increase in maintenance costs by jeopardy. High of building Higher buildings have higher cooperative costs due to greater circulation and service requirements. Swanjaya Tenaga Diamond Building as a diamond has 8-story level, excluding basement level, and where each level has a height of 3,700mm story height. When buildings are built higher, vertical tents for building services tend to increase in size. Required special plan and machinery such as hoists and cranes to reach higher level for material and labor during construction. With 8 story level, cost of engineering services such as lift, refuse disposal installation, piping equipment for sewage disposal and protective installation such as firefighting equipment and lighting conductors also affect. Size of the building Generally, the increases in building size often resulted in reduction in unit cost because cost does not proportion with the increasing in size. The greater the floor area of a building, the lower cost per square meter. So, a giant diamond building has no area for 1,330 meters square. Due to certain fixed costs such as accommodation, plants, temporary services, office site may not vary with the size of the overhead project cost will not increase. Construction methods. Wall structure. The building used glass window to transfer daylight from the sun as the lighting system. The window is used to locate and minimal heat entry. This is achieved through extensive facade daylighting system simulation to enable deeper daylight penetration. The wall finishes it used white walls to spread black light deeper down the atrium. Right ceiling and no interior partition and no suspended shelves. Scale light at the lounge area of such a small chamber and level 7 is a high light that takes. This is figure light reflection from light shelf and window seal. Light shelf only, window seal only. Floor structure, floor slab. To achieve the green feature towards the building, the floor is used as floor slab cooling system. The radiant cooling from the floor slab is achieved by cooling the reinforced concrete floor slab with chill water by 90 degrees Celsius using polyethylene reinforced thermal pipes abandoned in the concrete slab. The concrete slabs actually lack a thermal storage and be cooled to around 22 degrees Celsius. Roof structure. For the roof is was same as the wall features. The dome is the main use of lighting that transfer the natural sunlight. The daylight design of the atrium consists of three key design elements. First, an automatic blind that regulates light penetration into the atrium. Second, different window size for each floor. Third, reflective aluminium panels, the automatic atrium glazing roller blind consists of 34 individual blinds that come from six publication depending on the outdoor light levels. The blinds allow 30% of the light to the ensure the light for the office testing the atrium even when the atrium blinds are fully engaged. So the daylight availability increases deeper into the atrium. For the upper floors, there is no window and sunlight gives lighting system. Next, green features of the diamond building. Did you know what is the green features? 
Clear features and green will be integrated environmental consideration into every stage of the building construction and focus on the design, construction, operation, and maintenance phases. Green building gives many benefits to many aspects such as industry stakeholders, building occupants, and society. Green buildings have a greater air quality, natural light, views, and noise control which benefits building occupants and improve places to work or live. By adapting green building practice, you will take the most advantage of environmental as well as economic performance, green construction methodology once integrated on full facade. Energy efficiency, indoor environmental quality, tax sustainable site planning and management, for material resources, water efficiency, lastly innovation. The next slide I will explain one by one about the features in front of you tonight. Energy efficiency. The BEI of a typical office building in Malaysia is 210 kW meters per per year. The diamond building is designed with a BEI of 85 kilowatt meters per year at 2,800 hours usage, a 65% reduction in energy consumption. At present, the building's average BEI is at 65 kilowatt per meter square per year. This is the features of energy efficiencies: dome, sloping roof, slanting facade tall tree line and glass entrance. Firstly, renewable energy produced with photovoltaics. The building is installed with thin film tolerate. Second, second garden located at the basement as a void space which provides natural ventilation to the parking area. Tilty facade is the face of the building that allows self shading for the lowest forms. Protection from direct sun rays into the building and a smaller building footprint, resulting in a larger area for landscaping. Hey guys, I'm here at the ST Diamond Building in Putrajaya. It's Malaysia's latest green building. It's been certified to the platinum standard of the green building uh, index in Malaysia. And uh, they have special features here, like you can see up here, solar roof. I mean, this generates electricity. Okay, solar is quite high upfront cost, but it's quite useful, especially with the feed-in tariff going to come in in Malaysia. If you look up there on the atrium, they're actually capturing the rainwater there. They put it in tanks and then they use it for flushing of the toilets and irrigation purposes. They even have the capturing of the light. Through the atrium, it actually beams into the different levels, the office area. For the efficient lighting is installed with T5 fluorescent tubes are used but for the building conventional T8 fluorescent tubes. Set point of the general lighting is reduced 150 lux instead of 300 lux that required by MS1525. Second features water efficiency. First, rainwater harvesting for toilet flushing and irrigation. Rainwater storage capacity 2,400 gallon, water save 35.2 percent, water save 818 meter cube per year. This is a roof catchment area. This is water tank at the rooftop. Hey guys, this is our 
rainwater harvesting system of the ST Diamond Building in Putrajaya in Malaysia. You can see there they capture water and these are actually the pipes. This uh, small pipe here actually pumps it up to the higher levels, to the higher floors. This goes down with gravity, they use it for toilet flushing. Second, the usage of water efficient fittings is able to reduce the potable water usage by more than 67 percentage compared to conventional plumbing fittings. Taps with aerators, dual flush toilets, and waterless urinals. Grey water collected from the wash machines and water tap Muslim users is also recycled to irrigate the wetland at the ground floor. This is cross section mini wetlands. Third, indoor environmental quality. Comfort via wedding cooling. Cooling system in the dining building is provided via wedding cooling slots that have two water parts embedded in the concrete site itself. This system will be charged every night from 10 pm to 6 pm. The advantage using this system is that the efficiency rate is reduced. The noise from the Sustainable material to provide a plants with a healthy and productive quality with reduced away with suspended shavings, the plaster box has low volatile organic compound emission and has 30% recycled content. The floor carpeting is also certified by Green Label for low VOC emission and has at least 10% recycled content. Outdoor environmental quality. Extensive landscaping and a second outdoor garden ensure not only a green space but also provide a cool and shaded environment for the occupants. Environmental protection. The recycled content of the materials used in the building make up at least 30% of the total value of the project. Provide recycled bins to each occupant's workstation and every printer's. Priority green vehicle parking is reserved. Parking lots are provided for green vehicles and two electric vehicle charging stations are available. The cost of the construction and operational of the building. Cost of construction. The initial cost of a green building is more compared to that of a conventional building while the operation cost of green building is less. The high initial cost of green building is attributed to applications of sustainable features. Malaysia Energy Commission has purpose that the building import by IM 74.6 million USD to 0.56 million with 40,230 meters square cost per annum. Operational and maintenance costs. The Malaysia Energy Commission headquarters diamond building eco friendly measure costs USD 1 million, representing about 6% of their total construction costs. Second, by cutting the energy consumption down to 1 over 3 and with a payback of only 3.5 years, the Malaysia Energy Commission headquarters diamond building has shattered the commonly held misconception that going green is expensive. Instead, the Malaysia Energy Factors affecting cost of construction. First, material cost. Second, plan and equipment. Third, size and type of project. Fourth, level wages. And lastly, submission and location. First, material cost. The floor company is also being known for low VOC emission and has at least 10% recycled content. The interior plan used in the building is also of low VOC content. The work station content material that protects the Wages. Malaysia Energy Commission headquarters the diamond building require highly skilled workers to ensure the construction of the building fulfill the criteria needs and function of the building. The complexity of the building shows a high risk to labor at the site during construction. 
plan and equipment. There must be additional cost for this project because of the very high risk of operating or handling the plan and equipment and requiring a lot of tension on safety issues, site condition and location. The location of site's strategy which is congested area. Cost of transportation for workmen, equipment, materials, tools, etc. increases with distance from available resources and add to the project cost, size and type of project. The term of the new building project itself has shown that this project will necessarily involve a higher cost than the conventional building in order to fulfill the function and requirement of the building, affecting operational and maintenance costs. Energy efficiency The expected electricity generated is 1020 kilowatt per year, which is equivalent to 14,000 cost having annually or an evidence of 63,000 kg annual carbon dioxide emission. Water efficiency When water harvesting, the mineral water for toilet flushing and irrigation has reduced signal potable water consumption by 35% compared to potable water otherwise used for other things. Lighting system and control To maximize the lighting, the artificial lighting system is the light responsive. Two LED sensors are installed on each facet which one additional sensor. The role of quantity surveying in adapting green construction First, green costing. Quantity surveyor will be to adjust high level cost model at the facility stage. If that the client budget will fit and inform the design consultants on the design factors. Life cycle costing. LCC can be used to assist the management in the decision making process to the green. LCC might be applied to include environmental, social, and sustainability analysis. Carbon footprint. The QS may act really true as a the role of the cost and carbon management consultant through the integration of cost and carbon footprint. With an established methodology, the QS will be equipped to measure the carbon footprint as well as to create various carbon models for different development. Real model writing assessment. Real model writing assessment such as LEED and GEMA in the international project has expected for the quantity surveyor to show their capabilities. Conclusion The aim surely to make such an initiative to make human life safe, inclusive and sustainable over a long period. It also promotes sustainability without disturbing natural habitats. The construction of a sustainability building that does not interrupt the surrounding environment and works on conserving resources. Green building might initially seem like an additional cost but they offer a numerous of benefits and can also making it as an investment.